So why don't you show us how to make the crust? Okay. We'll, okay. We'll, I'll dump in the flour into okay. the uh, mixing bowl, and uh, you can mix. Now, how we, many? How three many? cups of flour. Okay. We add our sugar. We'll add the cover. We'll pulse. Okay. I yeah. love this new cover. Pulse, pulse. Perfect. Okay, we'll just add. a sift. Okay. We'll then add our six tablespoon of leaf lard. I'll show, show the leaf lard. So this is the leaf lard. Um, Paul told me that he gets this in Pennsylvania. From where? Uh, Dietrich Market. It's oh, a very okay. small family-run farm. Um, and they and render their own pork they fat? Render, they render the, uh, the leaf, uh, the, the fat. But it's from pork. It's from pork. Yes. But it's, it's uh, leaf lard. Yeah. And then we add nine tablespoons of cold uh, unsalted butter. All cut up in little pieces. Okay. We add cover. And pulse. You'll pulse. Put that in small pieces. Looks good. Great job. We, we have cold uh, salted water. How much? We have a uh, half a cup of water with, with a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Salt's water. important, right? Correct. Yeah. And we always dissolve the salt in the water. Yeah. So we'll just pour it in and you can just process until it forms a ball. Okay. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good. Think that's enough or not? It's enough. Okay. We'll leave, we uh, take it out of the bowl, we gather it into a ball, we uh, divide the dough up. Into two, two, two rounds? Two halves. See, look, there, it's holding together. That's a good pie crust. You know it's going to roll out. Cut it, chill it, refrigerate it, and the next day it's uh, ready, to, ready to roll. Good. So um, now I'll roll this so for So you're going to roll it out. Okay. I, I, we always use a template. Okay. Uh, so you could roll out like an 11-inch disc. Okay. Uh, using the cover as a template, okay. and then there's a knife that you could trim the uh, edges. The side. Okay, I'll do that. I will uh, begin with the uh, fresh pumpkin puree. In order to prepare the uh, the puree, you cut the uh, pumpkin in half. You t scoop out the seeds. You put it on a parchment lined paper. Put in a 350 degree oven. Parchment lined pan. Pan, correct. <laughs> <laughs> And um, I'm listening. I just want you to know I, I'm listening. Uh, I think it's I am multitasking <laughs> and listening. I just don't want you to think I'm ignoring you while I roll out my pie crust, which is so beautiful. Look, when you can pick up a pie crust like that without it cracking and falling all over the place, very nice. Very good. Yeah. After this, you uh, you chill it down, you process it, and then uh, you uh, refrigerate it and drain it. Okay. We have mm -hmm. some uh, pumpkin here. I will. Uh, process the uh, the pumpkin puree. So I have to get this big enough. Big enough. The for size, the top of the, the pot. This, yep. Okay. It's, it's really for the bottom of the pot. Well, the bot no, the top yep. of this pot. Yeah, right, correct. Yeah. Oh, there, it's big enough. Okay. Perfect. So just cut around. Cut, cut around. Okay. I'm going to uh, process this pumpkin. Pumpkin's process. Oops. We uh, drain, we will drain it in a cheese uh, cloth strainer. We'll let that overnight. Should I lay this down? Uh, uh, yes, you. Perfect. Perfect. You can trust me with your pie crust. Perfect. I'm trustworthy. Oh, you are. I've made lots of pies. And you're going to make a little rim. You'll do a little okay. rim. We need a little rim to attach like our this? curls. Yes. Just underneath? Yes. Fold it under? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. We, uh, here's the drained uh, pumpkin that uh, we made yesterday in the kitchen. Lovely. See all the liquid? You wow. must, you must See, drain. See, draining it like that, uh, because pumpkin has a lot of water. Water, and if it's not drained, the pie will be very watery. Yeah. That's so how many cups for this size pie? Uh, we need two cups of uh, pumpkin puree. Okay. Uh, it would take up about, uh, about eight pounds of pumpkin. Okay. Uh, in, in the bowl, we're going to add our pumpkin puree. So here's our pie crust. Do we pre-bake? Yes, we will bake. 375 degree oven, you have but, to... Uh, but here's another secret, right? Uh, that's the secret. You have to uh, dock the bottom. The, the, dock the bottom with the... Dock with the bottom. The, with a fork or a docker. Docking means making little steam holes so that when you bake it, it doesn't bubble up and because uh, you, you want the pie crust to hold the filling. So just line it with parchment, insert the... Uh, metal pie, pie plate on top. So Bacon, look how great. None, none 375 of those beans or oven. peas or weights. Uh, very, very nice. I, I'm making the... Uh, so 375 uh, for 10 minutes. Right. I'm okay. making the, uh, filling. the filling. We, we add... Uh, Two cups. ...of the pumpkin, our sugar. How much? Half a cup of sugar, quarter cup of muscovado sugar. Oh, so that's the dark, like, dark brown sugar. Dark brown okay. sugar, oh, thank you. I love you. muscovado. We add nutmeg, fresh nutmeg. Quarter teaspoon. An eighth of a teaspoon of clove, a teaspoon of cinnamon, 
Oh, a nice flavorful filling. Ta uh, a teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of... Uh, salt? Coarse salt. Whisk. And then... We will add our eggs, please. So three, three eggs. And a cup of heavy cream. What a delicious filling. So now teardrops. Teardrops. We so where'd you find the teardrop cutter? Uh, from uh, Coos. Okay, Coos. They, they're on website. You can go to their webpage. They have all kinds of cutters. They're beautiful. Uh, we make few, few curls. We cut them out individually. Then we roll them. So you roll up the little point. One at a time. And chill this. Okay. They so. will be chilled. Okay. Here's a plate of already cut curls okay. that we can... Uh, so chill them, then apply, apply them. To the, to the edge with, with an egg wash. Okay, so you do... They're just plain egg, no water. It's egg and water. It's an oh, egg, egg wash. and water. Yeah. Okay. Just apply... Little egg wash. Okay. And you can apply and just one overlap curl at a time, them a little bit. One at a time. Just keep rolling them around. <gasps> They're so cute. So I love this edge. I've never made an edge like this. Once that uh, cr uh, crust is complete. Where did you learn this edge, or did you just invent it? I did it, it myself. I had all these different cutters. I wanted a different type of uh, edge for a pumpkin pie. I didn't want a fluted edge. So I played around with different cutters, and this is what I came Brilliant. up with. Brilliant. See, there's we, always we, something new if you look. When you uh, complete this uh, shell, yeah. uh, you will have to refrigerate it with one hour before uh, putting in the filling. Okay. So do you glaze it first, the edge? No, we will uh, pour the filling into, okay. into the pie. We then uh, glaze uh, the... Uh, so there's the filling. Yeah. So you can make the pie crust ahead of time. You can make the pie filling ahead of time. Everything can be made And ahead. bake it on Thanksgiving morning. Correct. Okay. Not as perfect as yours, but I'll get it's getting there. Okay. See how beautiful this <gasps> puree is? It is so beautiful, so creamy and delicious. Preheat your oven to 375, and uh, you're going to bake the pie for approximately 40, 45 minutes. 45 minutes, okay. And here's the filling. Okay, so now I'll, should I just glaze just, the edge? Just glaze the edge. Okay, I'll do that very carefully. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, and so get that into the pie. Now tell us about the topping because that is unusual it's too. It's a uh, pecan praline. It's done with uh, sugar and water. Cook the mixture to its amber color. You will then add uh, toasted pecans to the sugar. You uh, put it on a silt pad, let it cool, and then uh, once it's cooled down, you can chop it. So we want to chop some of that up? Are you... We have already oh, some okay. chopped. Okay. And, and here it is. It's coarsely chopped. Mm, yummy. And um, we, we will just top the pie with oh, the... Oh, so you don't bake it again once no, you no, put the topping No, no. So this on. is completed. Oh, oh. Then uh, you add the, the topping to it. How pretty. Oh, so it's not baked on. Here is a completed pie. And then when you slice it... I have to have a taste. Please, slice it. Okay. I'll slice a piece of pie. Oh, I can't wait to taste this beautiful thing. And the decorative edge is so pretty. It really shows your guests that um, they're special because you went to all this beautiful trouble. So now we'll slice two pieces of pie. You know that you can get it out easier if you have two slices. I heard that today. No, I know. Isn't this brilliant? <laughs> that was a brilliant idea. That's Nikki's hint That's, for the holiday. She told me that one. Thanks, Nikki. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Look, it's coming out very nicely. Oh. That is so beautiful.